you need a pencil. It can be a regular pencil. It can be a marker. It can be whatever you want to draw with. And then I also have a nice selection of just Crayola markers for you guys. So if you get these, you'll be able to color afterwards and have a good time. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw a hedgehog today and a BB-8. So let's go ahead and have a lot of fun. Uh, you can change up the BB-8 uh, to be whatever colors you want. You can change up the hedgehog to be whatever colors you want. I'm basically going to teach you how to draw with very simple shapes and uh, we'll be able to use these methods later on. So, um, what I want to go ahead and start with is you can go to the link in the information if you want to print out a copy of the lessons yourself, but I do have them uh, on the lower left hand side of the screen right now. So if you do need to kind of see what's going on, uh, that will help you a little. I would recommend having a full size screen just so you can sit here and see it a little bit better. Right now I have like a little screen about this big. So what you'll want to do is you'll probably want to have that a little bit bigger. But um, in just a minute or two, we are going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the hedgehog. But as I said, um, I recommend going to the Patreon page. Uh, I put links in the description. And you can click directly, and that will pull up the image that we're going to be drawing. Um, if that's not working, uh, forgive me. This will be the first day that we're doing this, and I'm trying to make sure that we have everything uh, working properly. But um, you should see Patreon, post, uh, it has a different number behind it. But each one should lead you directly to which lesson we're going to do. So the first one is going to be BB-8. The second one will be the hedgehog. We're probably going to start with the hedgehog today. So um, hopefully you can go ahead and get those and you can look at them while you're working. Otherwise, uh, just follow along step by step with me. Um, and I'm going to teach you how to go through the whole thing. And we're going to go ahead and start drawing hedgehogs. So like I said, in just a minute, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, any other questions, you can go ahead and leave me a message in the comments. Uh, afterwards, I will try to address them. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started since it is 12 o'clock on my screen. And we're going to try and do this about three times a week. Um, I have a whole bunch of different lessons. Um, as we get them done, we'll go ahead and have some fun coloring them and everything. Um, Till then, bear with me because this will be the first time I'm trying to do a step-by-step -step tutorial with you guys on YouTube. I've done them in person, but, you know, a little bit different when you're talking to just yourself and no one's asking questions. So, without further delay, we are going to start, and I'm going to start with drawing the hedgehog. So, to draw the hedgehog, I'm going to start with a very simple first step, which is just going to be draw his little head. And of course, I have somebody calling me at this exact time, so I need to just turn my phone down. Sorry about that, guys. So, I have my head shape, okay? I'm drawing these light because if you draw dark, it's going to be hard to kind of erase some of these lines. So, what I'd recommend is go ahead and just do it lightly with your pencil. Um, the second step is I'm going to add where his face is going to kind of be with a little cross mark. Okay, what we're going to use this for is we're actually going to line up his nose, his eyes, and stuff like that one. So it just makes it a little bit easier. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a little shape of the body. So he's a fat little hedgehog, so I give him kind of like an egg-shaped body, let him be kind of fun. But as you see, like I said, I'm drawing very lightly. So as you draw, the lighter you draw, the easier it becomes to sit here and uh, go back and correct any mistakes or add anything. But you'll be able to go ahead and uh, just outline it later with either a marker or black pencil or something darker. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add his shoulders in because our little hedgehog is kind of balled up. Okay. So once we get his shoulders in, his head in, his body in, we're going to go ahead and start adding a little detail to it. So 
at this cross mark right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. This is where his nose is primarily going to be. Okay. To the sides of that, I'm going to draw two more little circles. And these are going to be where his eyes are. I need to have a couple upside down U's. And these are his ears. Once we do that, we're going to give him some little paws, which are kind of like VU shapes. And we have the basics of our little hedgehog here. So we got his little hedge hedgehog body. It's all quilly. We have his ears. We have his nose. We have his eyeballs. We have his little hands and we have his shoulders. So next, what we'll end up doing is we're going to go ahead and move on to adding a couple of the quills and some of the little details. So we're going to first start by adding his cheeks in. So I put them kind of right below the eye, near that line right there. And we also need to give him a cute little nose, which if you want to see how to draw a nose a little bit bigger, basically it is a triangle with rounded shape. Okay, so very simple. You don't have to worry about a shape you don't know. Almost everything can be done with very six simple shapes. Um, I'll have them at another point. Um, and it looks like I'm speaking a little loud, so I'm going to turn down the mic just a little to make sure I don't uh, make it too loud for everybody. So if you have to adjust your volume, I am sorry. Um, but let's go on. All right, so once we do this, we are going to add his little nose in. All right, so we got a little nose and he has his cheeks. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move next to his ears and we're gonna add a little inside of his ears, which are little curved lines. So very simple to add those curved lines. And then we are going to add little lines over his paws. So his paws are right here. That way he has his cute little paws. And now we're going to start adding a couple of the quills, okay? So with the quills, it's actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to be doing kind of these triangular shapes that aren't completely closed. So basically, it's a triangle, triangle, triangle. And when we get to the outside, it's going to be triangles, 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 triangles. So we're going to kind of go with the shape of the body. So I'm going to start with his belly area and I'm going to give him some little triangles. And if I have to make them a little bit shorter, a little bit more round, that's perfectly fine. So we have around his stomach area. Okay. Well, he also has his little quills around his body. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to start having them kind of come round. Now, normally I turn my paper as I draw, which you can do the same thing. It makes it a little easier to do certain shapes, but I'm going to draw his little quills. And with those little quills, I'm just going to kind of keep them a little bit pointy, have them a little bit small. We're going to go to the other side. We're going to add that side in and my hand's going to get in the way a little bit because I'm left-handed, but I'm basically making the same shape all the way down. And we're just giving our little hedgehog some cute little soft quills because he's not a porcupine. So you don't want him to be too pointy as I say, as I draw a nice pointy one right here. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on getting some of the quills inside the body, which basically that all you do is you kind of pick some different little places that you want to have them kind of poke out. They're kind of like use the, the U-shaped Vs. You can kind of pick different areas for them. You don't have to have any kind of like exact reason to where you put it. You can kind of just have fun and put some there. I don't recommend covering the entire body with them, but you can if you want. It's entirely up to you because he's your little hedgehog. Or she's your little hedgehog. 
Like if I want to make them, I'm going to actually change it up. So she is going to be a cute little hedgehog and I'm going to give her a little bow on top. So to do a bow, I did a circle and then I did another little thing. I'm going to hide it behind the ear, but I basically have a little hedgehog. Um, we also need to add the mouth in, which I forgot to do a little bit earlier, but that basically is a U connected with another U. So you can see it kind of show up there. We have our basic drawing done. One thing I want to do is I want to add little spots where the eyes are reflective. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to just darken that up some. I'm going to color in the eyeball and the nose. But we have a cute little hedgehog. Now I'm going to color my hedgehog. I'm going to just use some Crayola markers just because that's probably what you have sitting around your house. Um, I'm going to go ahead and darken up some stuff. I do have a black Sharpie to make it a little bit easier for me to distinguish the black and it doesn't smear. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and um, I am actually going to just use a pen to make it a little bit darker. Um, that way I'm not using too big of an item. But I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and draw over top. I'm going to make all my lines a little bit darker. While I'm doing that, I'm just going to try and make sure I stay kind of nice and neat. I don't pull my lines too much. I just kind of keep them going in one shape. I'm not going to trace over all my lines. I'm only going to trace over the ones that are like pertinent or important to the picture. So I'm going around on the outside of the face. I'm not drawing this little cross that's in here because I don't need it because we've already lined up everything. But I'm drawing like the ears. I'm going to draw the shape of the head. Once I draw this shape of the head, I'm going to go ahead and draw the shoulders. And it's okay if your lines mess up a little. Like I, I kind of got a little wonky line right here, so that's okay. It all takes practice. I'm going to draw his hands. Go over them, her hands, excuse me. Go over with that. I'm going to go ahead and add the bow. All right. Now I'm just going to outline these little quills on the outside. Little hedgy points. And while I'm doing this, I don't necessarily follow exactly where I drew my lines. I can change it up if I want. You don't have to be stuck with what you drew to begin with. You can always sit here and change it up. There's no reason that you can't. So maybe you want a bigger body, something like that. You can always do something like that. Because we're all going to have different sizes. I don't know if you've ever seen hedgehogs, but they come in various sizes. Some are small, some are big. Some are fat, some are skinny. And as you see, I'm still just turning my paper because sometimes it's easier to turn the paper to draw a certain way. You don't have to like think like when you're writing on your paper and you have to keep it a certain way so that your letters go where they have to go. You can change it around. It's whatever feels comfortable to your hand because a lot of people like you'll feel comfortable drawing like this where you don't feel comfortable drawing up. So. We're going to go ahead and outline some of these little quills here. Now, because I'm using markers, I'm not going to worry about go ahead and uh, erasing everything. But you can if you want. If you drew light enough, you should be able to erase your pencil marks with, um, since you're putting pen down and stuff like that. you're just joining us we're drawing a hedgehog um the link is in the description to get to the actual lesson um hopefully you will have fun and be able to catch up but if not we will be doing bb8 in just a moment 
So I do know that we have some people joining in as we're kind of going back and forth on this. But right now we have our little hedgehog. Now I want to add some color to my hedgehog and have some fun. So I actually am going to get some different colors. So we're going to do, let's see what colors do we want. I think I got a darker brown in here. Yeah, I got a darker brown. Um, so we are going to kind of color in our little hedgehog body with a light brown. It can be blue. It can be whatever color you want. Hedgehogs can be whatever color you want them to be. So if you want a purple hedgehog with yellow polka dots, you can do that. If you want a blue hedgehog with dark blue quills, go for it. I want you to have fun. But I'm going to just color this in. And if you went over with the marker or a pencil or a pen, um, you'll be able to kind of color over some of those lines, but some of the lines might still show up. So you can kind of see how some of my lines are right here. Um, if you're worried about that, you can always sit here and erase all your lines ahead of time. I just didn't worry about it because I don't think you guys want to watch me just erasing some stuff from the artwork. So I sit here and I just kind of color. I try and keep in my lines, but if I go out, it's okay. Just adds character to your little hedgehog. We have the little body of the hedgehog. Okay. We're going to add, we're going to give it some little pink cheeks. We're going to give it a pink bow. And we have to color in around the nose area. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and color in these eyes. Just because I like to have little black eyes with the little white dot where it's reflecting some light on it. And then I'm also going to color in the nose. And we have our little hedgehog face. She's really cute. Um, I think she's actually going to have some uh, nail polish on her little paws. So we're going to do that. we got some nail polish on the paws. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start coloring in the rest of it. So I'm going to make mine have kind of a darker body. So I'm going to be doing this darker brown over top of it. Now I'm just going to color in. We can always go back. If some of your quills disappear because your brown is too dark, you can always go back and we can outline them later. But we're just going to have a little bit of fun coloring this in. You don't have to color them in if you don't want to. If you just want to draw yours, go for it. You can draw like a little family of hedgehogs while I finish up coloring mine or you can even get a jump start on drawing BB-8 if you want or draw one of your own critters um I really love drawing monsters and everything so like probably every other day we're going to be drawing monsters for fun so hopefully you guys will enjoy what we're doing here I'm trying to like just let y'all have some art time that you might not be getting because you may not have classes right now. You may not have school. Or maybe you just really like to draw and you don't get that much time to draw with other people. So I teach a class where basically we just get to go in and draw lots of fun, cute little things. I'll draw animals. I'll draw robots. I'll draw monsters. So if that's what you're into, you just want to like to draw, go ahead and check back regularly. Um, you can click the subscribe button and you'll know when I put new content up or when I go live. Right now for the next couple weeks, I'm going to be trying to go and do a live drawing session about once every other day. Um, I'm going to see if I can manage to do it every day, but just in case, it's going to be once every other day except for the weekends. And you can come draw with me. I have a whole bunch of different things that I've already done lessons for. So we can draw superheroes. We can draw uh, animals. We can draw all sorts of different things. 
So, and I'm not worried about if my marker is not 100% covering everything here because I don't think y'all need to see that. Now, when I'm drawing a finished picture, though, I do a lot of shading to it. I have a lot of fun. Um, I really make something look finished. So, like, if you look at the image that um, I have in the bottom left screen, you'll see it all kind of is done in a flat coloring. Uh, I used a iPad for that, so if you have something that you can draw digitally on, like an iPad or a Samsung tablet, you're more than welcome to draw what we're doing here with that, too. So I'm going to draw over top of some of these quills real quick, just so they stand out a little bit more. Markers are one of my favorite things to use. So if you ever actually do look for a bunch of different things on how to draw marker or how to use markers and stuff, um, you can do a lot of fun stuff. You can blend with it. You can uh, use multiple different colors. You don't have to be stuck with just a flat color. Right now I'm keeping with just these one colors just for this. But later on down the line, I'll actually like do some lessons on how to use markers so you can mix your colors up and how you can blend them and make everything look nice and neat. So I am almost done with our little hedgehog. Just going to finish these quills on the outside of the body so they stand out a little bit more. So we have our little hedgehog. Very simple, very easy. Anybody should be able to do it. Okay, if you have a little bit of hard time, it's okay. You can sit here and start again. It's not a big deal. So we're going to go through that real quick. We just started with a little head. Added the body, which is kind of like an egg shape. We drew a little cross right here so we know where to line everything up. So we have nose. We have eyeballs. We have some ears. We have a nose inside. We made kind of a little fun mouth for it. We gave it some cheeks. We're going to give it some shoulders. We're going to give it its paws. And we're going to sit here and give it some quills. And that is a very simple hedgehog to draw. Add some quills out here. And we have a hedgehog. Okay? So hopefully you enjoyed the hedgehog. But now we're going to move on and we're going to do BB-8. So each day I'm going to try and do a couple of different little characters. So, and I do recommend when you're using markers, put a piece of paper underneath. That way you don't get marker all over your table because your parents might get mad at you. And I don't want you to get in trouble by drawing. Okay? So make sure just keep another piece of paper underneath. So you'll see I always keep like several pieces of paper underneath. So let's try and keep it off your table. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna draw BB-8. BB-8's a little bit more tricky, but I still have it where we can do it very simple. We can do it in seven steps. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a circle, okay? So I'm just gonna draw a circle. I'm not gonna draw dark. And if my circle isn't perfect, that's okay, okay? Once we get in here, we are going to draw a kind of half circle with a little bit of a curve at the bottom. So I'm going to draw these right here, and then I'm going to turn it into a half circle at the top. That's going to be BB-8's head. Okay, so we have BB-8's head. We're going to add some circles for BB-8 because, you know, as he rolls around, he has all the little circles on him. So we're going to add a couple of them. And if you're wondering what I'm looking at, I actually have my little step-by-step -step pulled up right here. That way I can go the same stage as you are while you're drawing. Okay, so we added the little circles for him. I'm going to go ahead and add near his head. He has a couple of lines like here. Okay, and like I said, I turn my paper a lot when I draw because it just seems more natural to me. We're going to add his eyeball. 
and his other little thing. We're going to add an antenna for him. Okay. We're going to add another little antenna because he has the two. And I probably should have made his head a little bit more um, tall, but it's okay. We can go back. We're going to add another circle inside this circle. We're going to add kind of a C shape over here because that circle's kind of gone off of his body. And we're going to draw a couple of lines that connect the circles. And this just kind of gives that illusion that he's round all the way around, especially if you draw some roundish lines. So I drew kind of these round lines right here and it looks, it makes him look like he's round. Okay. Once you do that, what we do is we add a little bit at the top. And if you run out of room for stuff, it's okay. I'm going to add two lines here and make it kind of go in a slant shape. So it looks like it's kind of going with that same circle. We're going to go over here, do the same little guy right there. We're going to give some little shapes because BB-8 has like all these little details in them. So you can kind of make the shapes how you want, but basically they're just little line boxes. And there's no real set number he has to have. So I just kind of had like about two or three on each side. Because I think it makes it look a little bit more like them. Okay, so we have his little head. Inside the body, we're going to add some of his little details. Like that's a backwards D with a little square attached to it. And we have a little sideways square, almost a diamond shape. Up here, we can add some more. All right, so right now, if you're following along on this step-by-step -step sheet, we've kind of gone through steps one through four. Now, if you're just following along, just bear with us as we go and keep on moving. So I'm moving on. We're going to draw a line from this little area, and we're going to just wrap it around this circle and bring it down here. Now, my circle is a little big right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just redraw that circle inside to make it a little smaller. This is where his eye is, so even if you want to just, like, once you get it in, color it in, you can draw that. This one, too, is going to be colored in. So if it's a little too big, you can color it in. And you're going to have another little dot down here. We're going to add a little dot down here. These are his little, like, light-up areas that, like, he has. We're going to add some more little details in here. So let's add some kind of rectangular shapes to here. He's got about four. And if stuff crosses over, it's okay. It does not have to be perfect. That's the great thing about drawing. You can always make things your own. Draw some lines. We're going to add a little detail for a screw right there. Up here, we're going to add a couple little details. And you don't have to be perfect when you're drawing these. They can be completely made up. I'm going to add a couple of circles in here. These are going to be where he has the other little screw marks. We're going to add a little spot like this. All right. We're going to add a couple of things in here. So if you want to have the little like reflection lights up here, what you can do is you can actually have draw a little circle or square here and here. And when we color it in later, just leave that white. I'm going to add another one up here. These are just making his little, like, eyes kind of show up. We're going to add a couple little details here. And so, like, if you don't want to do all these details, don't do them. Completely up to you. He's your droid to do. It doesn't have to be an exact BB-8. It can be a BB-9 or a BB-10. You can just kind of say it's your new version of it. Okay, so the final thing we kind of do is we're just going to clean this up some. So, like I said, I think this circle was a little too big for BB-8's body, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller on my end. Okay. And now that we have that little circle kind of done, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to start kind of redrawing a little bit of this to make it look a little bit nicer. 
clean it up some, and then I'm going to, I'm actually going to add a circle down here because I made this one kind of big. And we are going to go ahead and outline. I'm gonna go ahead and use a marker. And I'm gonna start outlining some of this. Don't worry if you mess up. Remember, I turn my paper just because it makes it feel a little bit more natural when drawing certain shapes or circles, especially. You can see I kind of like pull instead of push my wrist. It makes it a little easier. So there's no reason to keep your paper still if you don't want to. You turn it all over the place. Okay. So that's all I'm doing right now is I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to do some outlining here of the big shapes mostly. I'll probably go in with the pen and do... Um, some of the smaller shapes. We're just trying to have fun. Hopefully y'all aren't going too stir crazy right now. This will give you something to do, drawing favorite characters. My marker's kind of loud because I'm pressing kind of hard on it. And, like, I messed up right there. So, like, even me, who's been drawing a really long time, you don't have to worry about if you mess up or not. You can always go back and, like, do things your own way. So, I'm going to draw this little mark here. We're going to give BB-8 his little dome head. We're going to add his little antennas. BB-8 has a little, like, antenna up there, too. Uh, we're going to add some more details. I'm going to go ahead and darken in the eyeball. But I'm going to leave those little reflection lights right here. Okay? So as you're doing those reflections, just leave them the color of the paper if you want. All right, um, the other details I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do with just a regular pen, just so that we don't have anything too dark all over the place. So I'm gonna draw a line, draw another line, draw another line. BB-8 just has a whole lot of kind of details to them. All right. All these little parts in here. We'll go over here and we'll add a couple of these little parts. So I'm going to just kind of edit it to kind of make it work with how I've drawn the outline of it. So we have BB 8 and he has like these little fun things here. All right, let's add some of the details in the face. Once we add those details in here, we can kind of push it there. And one thing that I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks is um, once I get these ones all done that I've actually already drawn, that way you guys have a little handout that can go with it. I'm going to ask uh, for you guys to go ahead and suggest some characters, and I'll try and draw them for you guys. Um, I'll make it nice and easy. We'll have some some relatively simple ones. We'll have some complicated ones. It kind of depends on what you ask for. I get Pokemon asked for a lot. I have a whole bunch of things get asked for while I'm drawing. So I normally teach classes to a whole bunch of different age kids, so it really kind of depends. So... I need to pull up a little picture of BB-8 just because I forget what colors he is off the top of my head. So I'm going to do that real quick. I know he's orange and white and all sorts of those fun colors. And we got some grays in here. So we're going to have that. Got that little picture pulled up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start coloring some of this in. So he's got these little orange circles on him. So I'm going to color these in. And
it doesn't have to be perfect coloring. Remember to try and keep a piece of paper underneath it if you're using markers. That way your parents don't get mad. Or you don't get mad at yourself if you are a parent and you're drawing with them. Definitely don't get mad at me. If you do get someone on your table, though, a trick, and I bet a bunch of us may have it at our house right now, you can use some hand sanitizer and wipe it right off. But then again, you may not want to use your hand sanitizer. I don't know. So we're just coloring in BB-8, having a good old time with that. But if you want to change his colors, maybe, maybe your BB-8's pink, or maybe your BB-8's purple. I don't know. That's entirely up to you. I'm sticking with just a traditional BB-8 because that way I don't confuse everybody who's just tuning in and be like, what is that he is drawing? I don't understand. But we're going to add some more little... And he doesn't have a lot of colors to him. He is a very simple colored robot. But we got like some colors to him. So we got that. Let's add... He's going to have some little like lights on them, so we're gonna make those little lights blue. Just because, why not? We are going to get a gray. And we're gonna color in some of these other little parts. But we're just making our BB-8 have some little details to them. Nothing fancy. And like I said, I'm just using Crayola markers. I have a bunch of other markers that I use when I do like my professional stuff. But for this, there's no reason to go all out and have like all the fancy stuff. You can just have fun. Now, BB-8 sometimes has a little red dot show up in his eyeball. So I'm going to put that. And just color that in. But we have a BB-8. Let's add his, uh, a little antenna area. Some details to it. We're going to add one down here. But now we have a BB-8. So overall today we've drawn a cute little hedgehog. And if you missed that, I'll have the video on demand in a little bit. And we have a BB-8. So very simple to draw.